Rev up your engines! Today I'm talking about the best do-it-yourself repair manuals. But before I do, we have to mourn the passing of John Haynes, the man who started the Haynes manuals. He passed away recently, about a month ago, at age 80. He loved working on cars. He went from a young man who made his first book, sold it out in a few weeks, and ended up selling over 200 million of these Haynes manuals. Now John had a great idea. His books are based on a complete tear down and rebuild of each individual model. Yeah, that's a lot of work. Just like I've been fixing cars for 51 years. It's been a lot of work, but you know, why not share it with the world to help people out? Now being an Englishman, his idea of DIY is often about as in-depth as you can get. Look at this. I mean, they're showing you how you can pull an engine out of this Toyota Matrix and rebuild it. That's what amazes me about these Haynes manuals. He was a true Englishman. When an Englishman says, oh, I'm an amateur. Well, let me tell you, their amateur sometimes are a hundred times better than an American professional. <laughs> I swear, some of the Englishmen I met, you could give them some scrap metal and a few pieces of electronics, throw them in a shed in their backyard, and about six months later, they come out with a rocket ship to go to Mars. <laughs> Now, I was worried that I was going to be the end of Haynes Manuals now that John's gone, but that son's taking over the company and he's following it up. They're going to continue to be making these things. Because really, these books are an awful lot of work. Not only simple stuff like brake jobs, but look. They got the whole wiring diagrams of the vehicles in them too. You want to get serious about finding electrical problems. And just like everything else these days, they're going on the internet too. I talked to them at the company and they said, oh, they're continuing going to make the books, but they also have the online version. So it's like 29 bucks for the book and 20 bucks for the online version. Well, it's a pretty good deal if you ask me. The only thing that I've really got against Haynes books is this. It's so much work to do, of course, they can't do it for every car out there. <laughs> so there's cars out there that they don't have any books for yet. I was kind of curious about how they went around figuring out which books to make and how many to print up and hey they said well you know they study the markets of how many people have certain cars and how many they sell in certain areas so how many books they should print up because if you look at the book it's got lots of pictures in it and with all those pictures hey at least with present technology they can't just print these things on a machine automatically on demand my book how to buy a used car that thing doesn't have any real pictures on it so it can be printed up fast on a machine you can buy one where they amazon prints it up in kentucky someplace but this thing no it's got to be published by an actual publisher but as i said you can get them online too only i asked them i said Are you guys going to stop making these and just go online they said no because a lot of our customers hey they want the book so when they're working on a car like this matrix hey they can look at the picture they can look at the car, they can see it right in front of them, where it's not on a computer screen. Books are really handy when you're working on cars, there's no arguing that. Granted, you get it online, want to print out the pages you want, but hey, really, when you got a book, you know, there it is, and if something happens, throw it in the trunk, so if you need a reference and something breaks down the road, there it is in the trunk and you can look through it. Now as you can see here, it's a lot of work making one of these manuals. These guys are taking the matrix apart. Body, engine, they're giving you some serious information here. And really, it doesn't matter if you're an American dude yourself or just maybe doing a brake job or you want to take the dash apart or if you're a British dude yourself and you're going to take the whole car apart and put it back together again <laughs> like he did. Let's face it, John didn't sell over 200 million books for nothing. He's got a very good system here that helps people out. Now, I never personally met John, so I can't say what his real personality was like. People are saying, Scotty, oh, people like watching you because you're a personality. Well, maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, people are always friendly to me when they ask me questions. They smile, hey, Scotty, oh, hi. Oh. But then invariably comes the, hey, I got a question about my car. And I said, go ahead, ask it. I'll answer it for you. People want to talk to me because they want real answers about about their cars. And these Haynes manuals, they give you real ways of fixing your car. Yeah, sure, maybe you're not gonna be taking the engine or transmission apart. It's gonna cover anything that you're interested in. In this case, hey, the antenna mask there. 
Kept hitting the tree. Ron, you wonder, how do you get that whole assembly off? Not just on the top, but the whole thing. Hey, he's got it in his book. To replace the antenna base, remove the rear upper quarter trim on the driver's side, then remove the rear headliner retaining fasteners. The headliner will drop down enough so you can access the one nut securing it and get it off. You can't get more clear and concise. He didn't waste any words. He didn't waste any of your time. He even told you the trick was, you can just drop it down some to reach in. You don't have to take the whole headliner off. There are so many jewels in these books. Maybe John's looking down on us saying, hey, I'm still helping people out. And I wish the son good luck on continuing making these things. I hate to see good things go away. And since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away a Haynes manual. To have a chance to win, just place a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below. And a winner will be chosen randomly by computer to get a Haynes manual for their vehicle. And of course, put your vehicle making year so we can make sure that they make one for your car. So if you never wanna miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.